pad sites that are covered in the fracking chemicals and all that fall organic compounds. They're living on those sites, they're breathing that stuff in. There is a lot of truck accidents because they're exempt from basic trucking laws so they can drive even if they haven't slept for 24 hours. It's a crazy situation. So we're going to cover that. I didn't want to put it in this film in two minutes. We're making a short piece about a half an hour about that. But as far as looking for representation, the reason why they don't like to come on, on out is because they get slaughtered um, by reason, uh, by science, by moral arguments, because, um, but all of those arguments on our side are contingent upon one thing, and one thing only, the development of renewable energy. Mm. If, yeah. if we don't vigorously replace this fuel, campaigning against fracking is like turning off the lights in the hospital in the middle of an operation. Yeah. You must devote an, an equal amount of time to developing renewable energy. So you have to have solar panels, you have to have wind. I saw We have no moral credibility. We have no moral credibility. We have no moral credibility unless we are saying we're going to vigorously campaign to replace this fuel. Um, because we're certainly not going to go back to you know, living outside of an industrial era. That's, that's not possible. But the, what the good news is, is that we have those technologies and they're viable and they can be deployed and 